What is going on you guys? Brandon here aka Bravadis and in case you can't tell I'm in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, baby. So for those of you who missed my last video I surprised my beautiful girlfriend. Say hi. Hi. I surprised her with a trip <laughs> her dream vacation over mm -hmm. here to Mexico. I love it. How does it look so far? Beautiful. So to make this trip extra special for me and Jasmine, I decided to book the most expensive room at the most expensive resort in all of Mexico. And that's exactly why you guys clicked on this video. So let's go show you guys around the resort. In case you're wondering which hotel it is that we're staying at, the Nobu over here in Cabo San Lucas. So I know the title of this video says most expensive room and we're gonna show you our room, but our room isn't ready for check-in yet. So before we get into the room, we wanna show you guys around the resort because the resort is beautiful itself, even without going into the room so look at this so this is the outside of the resort right here actually is the drop-off area this is where me and jasmine got dropped off after the airport in case you can't tell there's a shuttle over there probably dropping some more people off and everything is so it's so spacious and everything is so big like just look at the building back there but enough showing the outside of the hotel you know it's cool it's beautiful but let's get into the resort so here's the walkway to get into the lobby first get here it looks beautiful it looks like a dream right it does look like a dream it's like simple but it's still beautiful yeah. right this looks insane honestly this looks insane like some people might see this and be like okay cool three rocks but no if you're actually here you you see it's beautiful everything is so big like the size of everything is huge there is the hotel lobby so again this is where you get dropped off from the airport that's where the shuttle is you walk in through here you got a nice little setup over here what'd you say was nice the architecture everything is so big like like look at this wall it looks like a huge looks like i'm in a dream honestly dude like i look like an ant compared to this <laughs> <laughs> I, I really feel like i've seen this place in my dreams before yeah, and so, now we're here so nice. on vacation like look they got even the walkway over here is like on water and it just feels like a, a dream and now we're here in person it's unbelievable like we said everything's so big just look at the like the build and this is before you even get into the lobby. It gets way crazier than this. Here's the hotel lobby, front desk. Okay. There's where you're gonna be spending all your time. Coffee, the coffee, coffee bar. The coffee bar. And everything, all the colors are so like neutral. Everything's wooden and light and white. It's literally like, this is perfect. Everything is just such like a vibe and so relaxing. That's true. Look at your hair flowing in the wind. Know, your hair so flowing and this outfit just screams vacation. It screams vacation. You look good, babe. Thank you. You do too, babe. Thank you. We're actually matching today. Can you show me? Yeah. White and white. White and white. So guys, here's the coffee bar up close. This is where my girl's going to be spending a lot of her time. They got some food options over here. They got liquor. They got some pastries right here. Over here, they got a fridge you got some red bull oh i've heard soda in mexico is a lot better than in the united states so i think i want to try the squirt the squirt man this hotel has everything bro if the hotel lobby is this nice already i can't imagine what the room is gonna look like i can't wait till it's ready and clean so this is called a coffee bar but all i see is alcohol is that how things work at this resort? My favorite, yeah. <laughs> it's coffee like a code word for a tequila or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh babe, let's show the view. Okay. Look at this, guys. So windy. After you walk out, look behind us, by the way. Everything is so spacious. But anyways, look at the view. That's the beach over here in Cabo. That right there is a restaurant. And then this, all this empty space right here that you guys see, what happens here, babe? Oh, you can have weddings here. And what are we doing on this trip? What are we doing on this trip? What you've been telling people. Oh my God. First of all, everyone here is greeting me as Mrs. Awadis. How does that feel? The first time was weird. They were like, oh, are you Mrs. Awadis? And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> and then they've just been greeting me as that. Okay, Mrs. Awadis. Well, if we did want to get married on this trip, you could do weddings over here in this big well, empty space. We need a proposal. That's true. I haven't done a proposal. Well, first, you need to ask me to be your girlfriend. Okay, babe. Chill. What is this? An exposing the <laughs> video? Okay. Anyways, guys, we're... we're okay. But then back there is a view of the beach and it looks so beautiful. I mean, if this is the view just from the lobby and the front desk, imagine what the view is going to be from the room. I know. Follow me this way. It's actually a golf course over here. So here we're at the hotel, but over here, it looks like there's houses or I should say mansions. Actually. Yeah. Look over there i'm guessing those are vacation homes where people live when i don't 
don't know, when rich people get bored and have nothing else to do with their life, they just come to Cabo San Lucas and kill time. I don't know. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel, but I don't live a bougie life. There's rich, like wealthy, but then there's like rich, yeah. rich. No, I feel like you're the most normalest person ever. Yeah, I just like, look at me. I'm in some Nike, some freaking Air Forces. I'm a normal person. These people over there, that's called having money. I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to be a creep and show their houses, <laughs> but I'm just trying to show you the view from our hotel. People who live in, you know, the mansions over there, they got a golf course view. And like I said, there's like money, like, yeah, bro, Wattis and FaZe Rug have a little bit of money, but then there's money, money, like wealthy, well, rich, 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 and God knows what those people do. I don't know. Okay, babe, so until our room gets ready, you want to go walk around the pools? Yeah, let's go explore okay. this place. It's so big, so I'm excited to go see it. Leaving the hotel lobby, Yeah. going down to give you guys a little tour of what this resort has to offer before we see our room I'm later on. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I can't wait. The room or the resort? The resort. I yeah. can't wait. And the room. Oh, all of it. All of it. Like the weather's perfect. You know what? I want to show them the weather, babe. When we say perfect, I don't want you guys to think we're over exaggerating or overreacting. When we say perfect, look at this weather. Look, Cabo San Lucas, 78 degrees, mostly sunny. And look at all day. 78, 77, 76. It's mid 70 all day when we said perfect weather we weren't lying bro babe i feel like we came on vacation at the most perfect time we did to perfect. the most perfect resort most perfect resort with the most perfect guy with the most perfect girl <laughs> i'm smooth you are smooth <laughs> oh babe we're in the wedding place okay so propose once we saw this big spacious place that's the first thing <laughs> first okay babe the first thing you said was what is it used for weddings and the first thing i said was what basketball could, court i was like what could they build here a basketball court that just shows where mine and my girlfriend's heads are at two we're completely so different <laughs> two completely different places there's where we were earlier in this video up top showing the view showing the wedding spot that we're at right now and let's explore babe Oh, the mom <laughs> glasses are out. The freaking mom glasses. Wait, why do you call them mom glasses? Okay, let me just explain how you look like a mom right now. The glasses are on. Yes. The tote bag also adds to the mom look. Complimentary tote bag. You have a tennis skirt. But babe, when I call you a mom, that's not an insult. You know what I'm what I'm trying to say is, okay, number one, I always say hot mom. I say MILF. I don't just say mom. But what I'm trying to say is like, you dress classy, you look mature, you look different than these girls that are just in a freaking like, I don't know, like <laughs> booty shorts and a... I don't know like <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say you're different that's my vibe I always try to be like classy clean oh adding to the mom look look at the earrings oh, yeah. gold yeah. little hoop is that Fendi Babe. oh shit my girl, <laughs> I got a bougie one wow that's not a good sign for the future but anyway Babe, um, I bought them myself <laughs> okay everything designer I buy myself thank okay you. okay okay mom <laughs> no, nah, but you pull it off though. I never say that's an insult. You're a hot mom, you know? Thank you. I will be one day. You want me to make you a mom? Yeah. On this <laughs> trip or no? Yeah. Okay. Babe, we talk too much. We do. Why do we always end up talking like so much? I don't know, but okay. So we're away from the wedding spot. Now here is a restaurant. Well, not just a restaurant. Oh, the no. restaurant. I mean, if you want food, you could come to the restaurant the restaurant still haven't got the text that our room is ready but it's all good because we're enjoying our time exploring the resort that we're uh -huh. gonna be at for the next three it's four days so we're going to show you guys the pool it's beautiful okay the pool's over there and it's gonna be cool to see but i like even like just the setup of everything babe i'll give you a kiss if you go stick your head in the cactus babe i'll give you a kiss if you go why do you copy me touch I said it the first. cactus you want me to touch it yeah i literally i dare you and all i get is a kiss Okay, you can make me a mom. Go touch the cactus. I feel like I'm gonna make you a mom on this trip regardless. Hey! See, people don't appreciate stuff like this. They'll walk past and be like, oh, cool, sand. It's like desert vibes. It's That's nice. the word. What? It's desert? desert vibes. Yes, yes. That's true. It's very desert vibes. The cactus, the sand. It's, it's very so like. It's like desert mixed with like a Hawaii vibe. Oh, dude, the water is so clear. Uh, so we got the pool area over here. So, the water is so clear. It's a. Pool. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to say that for the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Pool water is supposed to be clear. Pool, you got everyone here tanning, some people reading books, eating food. Oh, there's a bar. There's a bar over there. Let's go. 
I need a drink. <laughs> Why do you need a drink? Because you're hanging out with me? Yeah. Okay, then it I takes need 10. It a lot to hang out then with I you. Then I need 10. It's not like I'm just dealing with one person. You have like multiple personalities. So I have to drink hey, for that's each one. Up. <laughs> Honestly, okay, we hold this camera. People think I have a lot of different personalities. I don't. I, I'll admit, I don't only have one, but I don't have a bunch. Yeah, I have you. two. There's one where I'm Brandon, aka Brawadis. You know, I'm normal. I film YouTube videos and I love my girlfriend. But then there's my <laughs> other personality, which is me being in love with Devin Booker. And it's all about oh, the Phoenix wow. Suns. And my whole life revolves around the Phoenix Suns. That's it. I only have two personalities. And you forgot the one where you're a little psycho. Oh, I, okay. I did forget. Then... <laughs> I did forget about the psycho one. I'm not gonna lie. So maybe three personalities. But it's all good though. <laughs> what did we see here? A bar in the pool. Dude. It's a dream. This is. is this heaven? Wait. This is so sick. Look. So there's a pool right here, and then there's a bar in the middle of the pool. So you don't even have to leave the pool to get a drink. Huh? They have a hammock. What the hell is a hammock? Oh, the, the 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 thing that goes like this. Okay, they have a hammock. For real, we have to come back here. Okay, I need babe, to babe, come babe. Here. This is uh, literally a dream. I have a complaint. You've seen so many amazing, babe. magnificent things babe. on this resort. And the one thing that got a reaction like <laughs> that was a hammock? You had a crazier reaction to the hammock than anything else we've seen today. No, no, no. It's the hammock where I can read a book in the palm trees mixed with like the bar right here in the pool. Oh, we have to come okay. here and get a drink. So you want to read in a the pool. book in the pool while having a drink while sitting on the hammock? Anything else? Yeah. Because you're looking down. <laughs> okay. Babe! I mean, they can see your eyes, <laughs> bro. This doesn't feel real. Well, I you're, never thought I'd be here in real life, honestly. No, you're right. The best way to describe this is a place that you see in your dreams. <laughs> a place that you never think you'll be at in real life. And now we're here on vacation. This is crazy. So we want to get a drink so bad, but we just... Okay, hold on. You alcoholic. Babe? She, she had to throw in the so bad. Okay, we do want to get a drink so bad. <laughs> we want to get... I feel like they would taste good here. We're in Mexico. That's what you do here. You drink alcohol. No, let me rephrase it because my mom watches the videos. So Hi, we, we kind of want to get a drink. But we just got a text that our room is ready, so I'm so excited. Let's go there and see it. What's more important, the drink or the room? Babe, you're supposed to say the room. Mm, both. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, we're going to go show you the room. Okay, guys, so as my girl's racing over to the room, yeah. I want to show you guys the view from the freaking, from the pool. It's literally like this grass area over here. Okay, she's still racing over to the room. But then the beach is so close to the resort. Like, it, it's literally like the beach and the water's so clear. Okay, I'm about to lose my girlfriend. The definition of impatient is right there dressed in all white. Hi, impatient. I'm Brandon. Nice to meet you. Hi. Wait, are you single? Now that we've showed you the outside of the hotel, the front desk, the lobby, we showed you guys a swimming pool, we showed you guys a view. So the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the reason you guys clicked on this video is finally here. Time to go up to our room and show you what the most expensive room in all of Mexico actually looks like. Should we just show the elevator? Why not, bro? Mm -hmm. More footage, more watch time. I'll make some money back to pay off for this trip. Put a dent in my wallet, so. Um, okay, the elevator is pretty nice. Okay guys, so we exited the elevator. We made it to our floor. Now it's time to see the room. So the design here is actually really sick. This is the hallway. Look at this. I don't know how to explain it. There's no word. I'm not like, I'm not looking for the word modern or like, it's just a vibe. It's like relaxing, calming, peaceful. I like all the colors. The doors are wooden. It just, it makes you feel like you're on vacation. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm on vacation. Okay, babe, we're getting to our room. I'm excited to show it and I'm Peace sure they're out. excited to see it. Uh -huh. so. so this is our room and yeah, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's go check it out. Most expensive room at this resort. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. First thing you see is a dining table over here. Babe, I know it's only two of us, but if we did want to fly some friends out from San Diego over here to Mexico, we got one, two, three, four, five, six chairs. Just going with like the vibe and the design of this hotel. I feel like this, this thing right here is sick. Vases that I'll probably end up using as a tripod at some point on this trip. We have a mirror. The room is big, babe. It is. It's so nice. Another mirror over here. I'm guessing th these are connected rooms to our neighbors that we can't get into, which is probably good for safety reasons. And you have a nice little sitting area over here. So that's where we walked in from. You have the dining table there, front door. And now you have a sofa right here, coffee table in the middle, a big TV, 
some chairs right here, and then a bike to work out on. Got a little exercise bike right over here. So this is all cool. Like we were saying, the wooden designs over here just makes everything, just makes you feel like on vacation. And I feel like when you see like all these designs, just because it's so different than what yeah, you have at home, it. it makes you forget about like work and all the problems and stress you have back home. I think that's the whole point. Okay guys, so all this behind me is cool, it's big, it's nice, but we haven't even shown you the main part of the room, the bathroom, the bedroom. There's a lot more to this room. Come on guys, it's the most expensive room in all of Mexico for a reason. So, there's more behind this door. Are you guys ready to see? Boom, now we're on the other side of the room. Wait, babe, don't show the balcony yet. Turn okay. this way. Guys, we're gonna show you the balcony in a little bit. The balcony, it's the best part of the whole entire room. All the money that was spent on this room, the reason why it's the most expensive is because of the balcony. So we're gonna save the best for last. Okay, so here in the middle, you have another little living room area. You got the TV right here. You also have that complimentary tote bag that my girl was talking about. Nobu Hotel, Los Cabos. We got our bed. This is where we're gonna be sleeping over here it's comfy and then we have a little bench right here oh we got the closet they dropped off our luggage they put it in the in a walk-in closet oh wait before we get to the closet we have a coffee machine over here which is obviously excellent for me I love coffee yeah so we got the wait what? coffee or the hammock hammock whatever it's called <laughs> hammock <laughs> coffee <laughs> Oh, this is sick. I know, it's so nice. We can have coffee in the morning. Oh, and then they and have coffee. tea. Mm. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. So these are meant for tea and you have this right here, but what I use it for is um, we actually got a little tequila with us. And Take it, Sorry, I dare you. Nobu Hotel, I know these are supposed to be tea. Babe, no. Babe, yes. <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna still... Okay, so we're gonna get our tequila. Oh, Tequila. <laughs> I'm funny as f Oh, my God. No. Babe, you're dating a comedian. Yeah, you're dating a comedian. Who thought of the tequila joke? Who thought of all the jokes? Like. Oh. Anyways, guys, we're gonna get our tequila. Okay, now the joke's played out. I've said it like six times in the last 30 seconds, but anyways. Take it, take it. No, no chaser. No chaser? No, okay. since you're a comedian. Well, are comedians alcoholics? <laughs> Just because you're a comedian means you can drink with no chaser? Okay, do I get a kiss after? Maybe. Babe? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I was promised something. Okay, back to the, the room tour. <laughs> so we have a nice walk-in closet over here. Babe, it's called a walk-in closet. That oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, my girlfriend isn't too smart. It is so annoying. But they dropped off our luggage. We got our luggage over here. We got our carry-on. Okay guys, I know I mentioned that the balcony is the sickest part of this whole entire room, but the pictures that I saw online of the bathroom, those look beautiful. So, let's see if it looks just as good in person. Oh, wait, this is actually mm, sick. It's so pretty. Okay, so we got the his and her sinks. This is Japanese style, right? Like the towel rack. I think like, it is, because Nobu's like a Japanese restaurant. Yeah, so everything is like Japanese themed. Oh, what the heck? So pretty. Okay, babe, I already know you're gonna end up in the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. This is your vibe. They got a shower over here. Dude, oh, pretty. look at the design, babe. Can you get a close up on this? The design of the shower is actually, it, it's really beautiful. It's super so sick. Nice. Shower head, or you have the, the handle. Oh, babe, you can sit in the bathroom. I can squirt you like a water gun. <laughs> What's here? Let me guess the toilet. Oh, yeah. Right here. Where you're gonna be most of the day. <laughs> so, as the one who's addicted to coffee. Now, let's show them the best part, I think. The balcony? Yeah. We showed you guys everything except the best part. The blinds are opening up, and you guys are going to be shook. Literally, the best part of the whole room. This is crazy. It's opening. A dream. Look at this. Blinds are open. Now onto our balcony. So keep in mind, this is all ours. Yeah, I know. So these walls, 
block everybody else off this <laughs> is our own pool only we have access to this pool I this know. is all us we got two chairs to tan we have a table where we're gonna drink coffee and eat breakfast in the morning okay and then we have a pool obviously and then we have a fire pit which i'm so excited about because then we get to at night we can turn it on and sit together and have some nice deep combos Oh shit. <laughs> this is, yeah, I already know. Are. Our first argument of the trip is gonna have here. It Babe, starts. Why does it always have to be an argument? Because I just wanna tell you how much I love you. No, because it's both tell you. But first, like, I'll get you, like, drinking a little bit so you can, like, loosen up your feelings. I'm no. Sit here and Guys, talk. to every boyfriend out there, you already know with your girlfriend, what starts with deep, lovely combos ends in an argument. Always, every time. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, Rihanna might be staying next door so guys we were showing the main pool earlier in this video with the bar and everything mm -hmm. babe little did we know we don't even need to go know, to that we pool we don't even need to go to the pool we, we can just sit here and go in the pool ourselves bro Ooh. we don't even have to leave our room to enjoy a pool this is actually insane okay babe wait can you hold the camera i want to show this part this is the craziest part so i think what makes this room the most expensive room in all of mexico yeah the private pool is cool not every room in a hotel has their own private pool and yeah, the fire pit is cool and you know, the, the, the tanning chairs and the bed and everything is nice. That's cool. But I think what most of your money goes for when you purchase this room, look at this. So you have the beautiful beach over there and you're literally a flight of stairs away from going to the beach at any time you want. The beach is literally in our backyard. This is so crazy. Look at this, bro. How beautiful is this? One flight of stairs. Our room is right there. That's our balcony, that's our backyard. And boom, 10 steps later. We're at the beach. You are. In the sand. In the sand. Okay guys, you know what, uh, wait. I'm gonna get in a proper beach fit and then I wanna show you guys. Okay guys, so now that we've changed into proper beach outfits, babe, you actually look really good. That's my you favorite too. outfit of you. Thank you. You look good too. Nah, you look really good. You're glowing, as they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, now we could walk the beach. Bro, it's so calm, so peaceful. Look at the palm trees, the wind flowing. We already showed you guys perfect weather, mid-70s. So nice. Oh, there's the, the pool, the pool and the bar that we showed you earlier. I love it. It looks so good with your hair flowing. Yeah, guys, I mean... Vacation. 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 That's oh, a nice... wedding. Oh, a wedding! They're setting up for a wedding. wedding. Okay, babe, don't get any idea. Wait. Okay. No. Okay, guys, my girlfriend, she's a little <laughs> crazy, but what she's thinking right now in her head, <laughs> I know her so well. Crazy. She thinks that I'm setting that wedding up and that, that I just... That's why you got that room so close to it, right? Okay, so babe, 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 babe. sunset, I'm going to go walk there? Babe, I know exactly what my girlfriend's thinking. I know her better than anybody else. She thinks I'm setting up that whole wedding secretly behind her back and that I just got caught while we were setting up the flowers. Babe, I love you. And one day, yes, one day we'll have a beautiful wedding, but please don't get your hopes up for this trip. I promise that's not me. But one day, <laughs> one day, one day for sure. But guys, look how crazy this is. So our room is right there, literally right there. And now we're on the beach. Look, feet in the sand, dude. This <laughs> ah. is, sorry, baby. <laughs> it's a perfect blue. It's like a light blue. Oh, the waves. Babe, this is a definition of a private getaway this is for us. So beautiful. This is insane. The fact that we have this in our backyard is crazy. I know. It's crazy. It's so pretty. The water is so clear. All right, guys. So it's been a few hours since we last filmed, and we just want to show you guys the sunset because it is absolutely beautiful. The view from this room is freaking amazing. So we have our little fire pit going on. We're gonna sit on the couch for a little bit, enjoying a pina colada. Pina colada. Cheers. We're gonna today enjoy our pina colada in front of the fire pit while watching the sunset. But we just wanted to share this view with you guys before we took a seat because it looks so sick it's not just the looks that's beautiful it's just like the feel the wind the sound the it's love. peaceful the love is also like peaceful literally nothing else in the world matters right mm -hmm. just, like you're stress-free over here yeah you're not stressed about work or school or just yeah. anything you're no, just stress-free until you go back home and you're like 
have a real life. <laughs> I have an actual life. All my problems are back. Okay guys, so before closing this video out, there was just a couple things I wanted to say. Number one, I wanted to thank all you guys, the supporters, because yeah, I put in the work, I film YouTube videos, I edit, I upload to YouTube, but if it wasn't for you guys watching, none of this would be possible. This life, the room that we're staying in, the view that we have right now, it's all thanks to you guys, and I never take it for granted. I never let that go over my head. I know that if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos and you guys showing your support, I would not be where I'm at today. You know, I could work as hard as I want on my end and post as many videos, but if you guys aren't watching and supporting, none of this would be possible. So seriously, from the bottom, of my heart both of us we both want to say thank you i love you guys a lot another thing i want to say was i know a large large percentage of my supporters are hispanic and every time like i've seen so many comments talking about brandon you need to visit mexico we'll take care of you out there we love you over there in mexico and i just want to say here in mexico it's freaking beautiful like beautiful i mean you are mexican so you yeah. you probably know this but me, you know, I'm Middle Eastern and I live in the United States. So when I see the comments about how beautiful Mexico is and, oh, Brandon, you got to come visit. We'll take care of you. I don't see it like this. But now that I'm actually here experiencing it firsthand, you guys weren't lying. Like you guys call it the motherland. I see that in the comments. It's honestly amazing. And I'm glad I get to experience the Mexican culture firsthand because it makes me appreciate it even more. Like, yeah, in the United States, we have Mexican food. And I actually live in an area where there are a lot of Hispanics, but you don't really appreciate the culture till you come over here. It's been really, really fun and shout out to all the hispanics that watch my videos i love you guys last thing babe you know me like usually i never talk about like money or price or like yeah yeah no he's literally the most humblest person i've ever met in my entire life thank you like you're you're just like perfect uh you guys know if you watch my videos i never really like to bring up money and I don't know, just, it's just not a good thing to talk about. Some people are a little less fortunate than others and you never wanna make people feel a certain way. Since I know this video is talking about the most expensive hotel in Mexico, and I know you guys clicked on the video because of you know the price tag yeah. and all that, I think it's right to share with you guys just how expensive the most expensive room in all of Mexico is. For those wondering, it is $4,000 a night for this room, which that's is insane. <laughs> freaking- that's, that's actually insane. It's insane. Don't get me wrong. Like, of course, the bed and the shower and your own private pool and everything like that is cool. The view of the beach. But $4,000 a night is crazy. And we're here for four nights. So you do the math. That's $16,000. Almost $20,000. It's cool, you know? It's, it's nice. That makes me stress. <laughs> Great experience. Good vibe. But holy shit. Yeah, almost twenty thousand dollars for this trip it and was. although you guys are clicking on this video like because it is the most expensive just know that yeah like it's nice to like do these things but also like money isn't everything you know oh. it's just the person you're with like yeah it's nice that we're here and like i appreciate it so much but like also like i would even appreciate like just staying home with him like that's my favorite thing to do she literally told me off camera when i was booking this trip she was like babe you don't need to get the most expensive room we don't no. need to stay at the nobu hotel we could literally go anywhere but it's our first vacation together and i just wanted to make it really special i appreciate this so much and it's like it's just so beautiful and i'm so thankful to be here and i'm thankful to have you i got you i got you i love you yeah, guys, I mean, like I said, I don't want to get too much into money and talk about all that, but I just want to let you know because I feel like in this video, it kind of makes sense to let you guys know just how expensive this room was. I just want to close this video out by saying once again, I love you guys and I love this girl over here sitting by my side and I love how appreciative and grateful she is for everything. She literally told me even after I booked this room and the reservation was set, she was like, babe, go home and change it. She's no, like, change please. it. I was like, babe, it's okay. We don't do this every single day. You guys know me if you've been watching my channel. You guys know me longer than she's known me. So you guys know me better than her. I don't travel. I don't. I know. I don't, That's, I, it's crazy that like we have are traveling together. Like, everything is just crazy, honestly. Yeah. I don't leave the country, let alone probably my first vacation of my life that I'm not going to Arizona just to watch Devin Booker play. Every time I say I'm going on vacation, it's just flying over to Phoenix, yeah. Arizona to watch Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns play a game. So you actually got me out the country. You got me out the country. That's crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else. I wouldn't want to be here with anybody else. You know, I wouldn't want to spend my time with anybody but you. So thanks for being here and we're having a great time. So thank you guys again. Thank you guys for watching. Thank, thank you guys. We're going to close this video out here and enjoy the rest of our night. You guys saw the view. You guys saw the room. You know, we want to spend some time off camera and just enjoy ourselves because I work hard. I deserve it. She works hard. She deserves it. So we just both deserve this vacation. Yeah, that's going to close out today's video. We love you guys so much and we're out. Peace. Bye.